It is February 8th, 2016, and these are the top health headlines of the week. First one, organic agriculture, key to feeding the world sustainably. Kind of counterintuitive. Big chart I left up front for you to read on your own. It is the first study to analyze 40 years of science comparing organic and conventional agriculture across the four goals of sustainability identified by the National Academy of Sciences, productivity, economics, environment, and community well-being. Critics obviously argued for a long period of time that organic cannot yield the same yields as pesticide or genetic modification. Old Contreras at Washington State University researchers. Number two, why your muscles get less sore as you stick with your gym routine. And also a warning about reducing inflammation because the inflammation is actually not such a bad thing. It says the presence of the T cells suggests that muscles become more effective at recruiting immune, immune cells following a second bout of exercise and that these cells may facilitate accelerated repair. In other words, the muscles seem to remember the damaging insult and react similarly when the immune system responds to antigens, toxins, bacteria, or viruses. But keep in mind, read this part here, the inflammation is actually not such a bad thing. So be cautious if you're taking anti-inflammatories, reduce that pain after gym workout. It may not be best for your adaptation of muscle gains. Number three, cell culture. Keep in mind, cell culture, not animals, not humans. Experiments reveal potent antiviral activity of cystis and conus extract against HIV and Ebola. Scientists at the Helmholtz Centrum Nuchkin discovered that extracts of medicinal plants cystis and conus prevent human immunodeficiency viruses from infecting cells. On top of that, the HIV does not develop a resistance to the cystis and conus. Active antiviral ingredients in the extract inhibit docking of viral protein to cells. Antiviral activity of cystis extracts also target Ebola and Marburg viruses. And these results were all published. And of course, you'll find the links down below too. Again, this is the February, this is, this is February 8th, 2016. And this is what we feel the top three health headlines of the week. Thank you very much for listening once again.